you're set apart for a reason. But it's not what you think it is. I'm going to prove it to you. It's time of peace. Stop warring against the people who are doing witchcraft on you. Stop fighting against them. Stop praying against them and, and doing trying to be holy right now. For you are supposed to be either in Babylon, serving the king of Babylon, or you are supposed to be taking these, these trials in good spirits, like Peter said, with a smile. Because they coming. And they coming because you ain't paying attention. And they got false prophets out here telling you a whole bunch of stuff that ain't true that we ain't gonna see no evil we got power over these and we praying god say it ain't finna happen player he say i will bring my wrath upon you even on the year of your visitation even in the year of your visitation he will bring evil upon you because he sent people out of the land that he promised our fathers Sent them out of that land. And he kept his eye on them for good. Because some, most of them not going to be able to make it back. Most of them not going to make it back. For they're going to work and toil under Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar to death. But he's going to reach down and grab some remnants in the latter days. Okay. And he's going to put the word of his, his, his wisdom in their mouth. And they're going to come to you and tell you such things like. Thus said Yahweh to me. Make thee bonds and yokes. And put them upon thy neck. And send them to the king of Edom. King of Moab. King of the Ammonites. And the king of Tyrants. And the king of Zidon. And the hand of the messengers. Which come to Jerusalem unto Zedeka, king of Judah, and command them to say unto their masters, I, Elohim, have made the earth, the man, and the beast that are upon the ground, but by my great power and by my outstretched arm, and have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. Which means I give it to who I want, who I, who I thought, who I feel like giving it to. I made it all, and I can give it to whoever I feel like giving it to. Who did he give it to, though? I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, my servant. That's the king of Babylon. And the beast of the field, even the beast of the field, I have given him also to serve him. And all nations shall serve him and his son and his son's sons until the very time of his land come. And then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. And it shall come to pass that the nation and the kingdom, which will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and that will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, that nation I will punish, saith Yahweh, with the sword, with famine, with the pestilence, until I have consumed them by his hand. So that means, back a, uh, like a, a chapter ago, he was saying about the remnant in the last days and the latter times, how even in the year of their visitation, some of them, he's going to come at them to them with evil because they're not putting themselves under that yoke. They're not serving. So if you... It's two type of people or three, it's three of them really, but the main two are the ones who are being taken captive and the ones who stayed in the land. The land. Okay. Therefore, hearken not ye to your prophets, nor your diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you saying, ye shall not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie unto you. To remove you far off from your land. It's a lot of those out there right now, ain't it? Giving you those good words and breaking down these old books. I was reading before, it says, it's talked about them too. It says these, these prophets in these days, um, they're going to be lovers after their own heart. 
they uh they're gonna have knowledge of the ancient times <laughs> they're gonna have knowledge of the ancient times and all of that knowledge but they have no knowledge of the ending of things for these are things that they don't understand yet for they prophesy a lie unto you to remove you far from your land and that I should drive you out and ye should perish but the nations that bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him those will I let remain still in their own land how he gonna let Nebuchadnezzar take all of the people of Israel and Jerusalem way over here to America and they still be dwelling in the land that he promised because your body is the land I didn't get here on my own I wasn't worthy but he came and got me with outstretched arm put me to the side for a while and then I slipped. And then he brought me to Ezekiel 20 through 25 and told me about the two daughters. <laughs> and now I'm here in Jeremiah. Because I got wrath coming on for me right now, but I'm going through it with a smile. For you going through yours. Because you don't know this. And it's pissing you off. It's getting you mad. It's getting you mad, it's getting you hurt, it's getting you sad. But it shouldn't. It gets me like that sometimes too, I ain't gonna lie. Therefore, he says, I spoke to Zedekah, king of Judah, according to all those words, saying, Bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people and live. Why will you die, though, and thy people? Why will you die and your people? By the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, as Yahweh has spoken against the nation that will not serve the king of Babylon. Why would you die like them? Because he looking, he sent, he sent people into Babylon, and he looked after them with good. But the people that are being reproached right now, and the the elect of God, that's holding steadfast in their trials and tribulations. He's looking after them with evil. He says it. This Jeremiah chapter 27 and 13. But go back another chapter. You'll see exactly what I just said. Therefore hearken not unto the words of the prophets that speak unto you, saying, Ye shall not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie unto you, for I have not sent them, said Yahweh. Yet they prophesy a lie in my name, that I might drive you out, and that ye might perish, ye and the prophets that prophesy unto you. Also I spake to the priests and to all this people, saying, Thus said Yahweh, hearken not to the words of your prophets that prophesy unto you, saying, Behold, the vessels of Yahweh's house shall now shortly be brought again from Babylon. For they prophesy a lie unto you. Hearken not unto them, serve the king of Babylon, and live, wherefore should this city be laid waste? But if they be prophets, and if the word of Yahweh be with them, let them now make intercession to Yahweh. Intercession, that means cut in for you. Let me jump in there real quick. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me let you know something. Calm down. Be peaceful. Do it with a smile. But we all know, we read Peter, we know about all these things, the, 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 the reproach and you're, 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 you're taking on the sufferings of Christ. And we know about these things. Yes, I know you know. I know you know. But did he tell you before that? Why it's been going on for years before you read that verse. The vessels that are left in the house of Yahweh and in the house of the king of Judah and of Jerusalem go not to Babylon. So if you never, basically it's this. If you didn't been to Babylon 
and you didn't took on a couple of these things for I was a virgin when I first opened these scriptures I hadn't been nowhere but just in my own mind and living like I'm trying to get rich putting CDs on iTunes and stuff you understand rapping and raising my baby and you know what I'm saying thought I was doing pretty good but when I started getting these reproachings these thrashings then I was troubled I was troubled I had nobody I read in the scriptures today it was saying it's a little meat for you but I'm gonna I'm keep going man I'm here for the elect Everybody else can catch on where they catch on. Ask me a question, I'll answer it. I have no problem with it, but I'm moving along. The elect got to know these things. They have to. For it said, oh man, I lost my point. Anyway, let's scratch it. For thus said Yahweh of hosts, concerning the pillars and concerning the sea, concerning the bases, concerning the residue of the vessels that remain in the city, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took not, when he carried away captive Jeconiah, the son of Je Jehoiakim, king of Judah from Jerusalem to Babylon, and all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem. Yea, thus the Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, concerning the vessels that remain in the house of Yahweh, and in the house of the king of Judah and of Jerusalem, they shall be carried to Babylon. And there they shall be until the day I visit them, said Yahweh. Then I will bring them up and restore them to this place. That was me. Okay? I remained in the house of Yahweh. For I didn't take on any evil things. I didn't take any. He's talking about all the things of Babylon. Let me get this straight. I'm going to tell you this. Because I read somewhere else in the scriptures. I'm not very good with the things. But if you just... Uh, YouTube it or Google it It'll pull up the scripture for you If you use the words I'm saying There's another place in the scripture where it says you, That's why I say The wheat grows with the tares Because there's coming a time of harvest And if you try to pull those up You're going to pull the wheats up with the tares So we got to wait till the time of harvest It's not for you to judge And he also said That some of the things that you think is evil Is not going to be evil Some of the things that you think is good is not going to be good. For that didn't make sense to me until today. When he's telling me that the reason why I was going through all of what I was going through. <laughs> was because I wasn't dwelling in the deepest of sins as my peers. Yahweh said do that. He sent you out there. And he also said. He would repent you. He would recompense. And repent. For you. If you don't die in Babylon. He said he would repent for you. He also said some of the people. Uh, he's going to bring evil up on them. Even in the day of their his visit. Here again he just said. Uh, they shall be carried to Babylon, and they shall there, there be until that day that I, until the day that I visit them, said Yahweh, and I will bring them up and restore them to this place. But he also said, this is chapter 20, the end of chapter 27, where he said that, but in the previous chapter, he said, <laughs> some of y'all, I'm going to bring evil up on you, even in the year of your visitation. That was cold peace for me, man. If I was just brought that today. But I had to go to Ezekiel. All right, and I will bring again. We had chapter uh, chapter twenty eight, verse four. And I will bring again to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehokim, the king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah that went to Babylon, said Yahweh. For I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Hananiah. In the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people that stood in the house of Yahweh. Even the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen, Yahweh, do so. Yahweh, perform thy words which thou hast prophesied to bring again the vessels of Yahweh's house and all that is carried away captive from Babylon unto this place. 
Nevertheless, hear this word that I speak in thine ears and in thine ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and against evil and against pestilence. They prophesied against those. Yes. The prophets which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh had truly sent him. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet's Jeremiah's neck and broke. Hananiah, let me let me skip down a little bit because I'm gonna be moving fast and I'm gonna be describing because it's a lot that I want you guys to understand. But Hananiah took it off and broke it off of Jeremiah. Say, man, this is what we got right now. A lot of these false prophets out here, they preaching to y'all about they're the chosen people and um, ain't no harm gonna come to them and they are. Uh, stomping on the devil's head and all, all of these things but that's not the will of God it's not the will of God it's not the will of Elohim it's not prove it to you so and then I took the, took the yoke off of Jeremiah and broke it what happened to Hananiah? Jeremiah told him, Thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. Y Yahweh of hosts says, He's the Elohim of Israel. I have put a yoke of iron upon thy neck and on the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. And I have given him the beast of the field also. Then said Jeremiah unto Hanai the prophet, Hear now, Yahweh hath not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Some powerful people out here, man. Some real good men of God, man. One of the ones I really was trying to reach out to and I used to study, I mean, I used to study under. And, and people's videos was uh, my boy Big Judah, and um, man, he he's him and his other friend. I forget his name, man. But I was trying to reach out to them and tell them about the new law and the new covenant, and I got reproached <laughs> even by them. And I came in the name of Christ, for I've seen him. And I got reproached by them too. Why? Because they're speaking lies. They prophesy lies. They don't know the truth. So I'm going to look like something that ain't they don't like. Because it's going against everything they understand. But it's right here, man. You're trusting in a lie. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. That's so basically, Jeremiah told Hananiah, God said he's going to scratch you off the earth, champ. And that's the very same year Hananiah died, bro. I ain't wishing death on nobody, but I do wish you to be crucified in your flesh as I was. And you to understand Shekinah glory. And you to understand them, them scrolls roll back, the sky open, and I want you to see that. But you're not going to get it by the works of your hand, champ. You're not going to get it fighting against the evil in this world because there's going to be things you think is evil and it's not going to be evil because God said do it. But if you are still in the land of Yahweh and you find yourself in Babylon, still in America, and you still ain't took on none of those things, then you're going to have to go through some trials, champ. You have to go through something. And you're going through it because you ain't served the king of Babylon. You got, you got some things waiting for you. You got glory waiting for you. You do, champ. <laughs> but just know now, Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders which were carried away captive, and to the priests and to the prophets, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. I'm coming to you guys. After that, Jeconiah the king and the queen, and the Enoch and the princess, 
of Judah in Jerusalem and the counterparts and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elasa, the son of Shapham, and Gamaria, the son of Hilkiah, who Zedekiah, the king of Judah, sent it to Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Unto all that are carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon, he's telling you, Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Take your wives, beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there, and not diminish. And seek the peace of the city wherein I have caused you to be carried away captive, and pray unto Yahweh for it. For in the peace thereof shall you have peace. For thus said Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to the dreams which you, which ye cause to be dreamed. You cause yourself to dream some things. For they prophesy falsely against you. In my name I have not sent them, said Yahweh. For thus said Yahweh, that after seventy years be accomplished, at Babylon, I will visit you. He's going to come and visit you here. He's going to come get you, bro. He came in. He called me from out the front of my yard. I'm reading the Bible. I'm standing up. And he's saying and he stands up in front of the house of the Lord. I'm in Ezra. And he's talking about the ninth month and the 20th day. And it was September the 20th, man. Stop playing with Elohim, man. He going to come get you. And you going to know it's him. After 70 years, <laughs> which if we which we in right now, we we here, baby. Do you know where we at? And perform my good word towards you and causing you to return to this place. Causing you. For it is not by my own will that I was turned away from my ways. I was too deep in them when he came and got me. God say I had to put my hand on this. And, and make it righteous. For it was none on the land. Couldn't find none. There was one that was close enough. And I reached down and I set him right here. And I by my own hand made him righteous. But I failed to. But now I understand. That it wasn't really a fall. But I got to face wrath because. I know. What righteousness is. So I'm chopping down trees up here. Not because I'm greater than you. I'm a man. I have sin. For we all have sin. If anybody tell you they don't, they a liar. For I know the thoughts. That I think toward you, said Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give to you, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. That's key. Trust me. I ain't had no more heart for nothing else. Everything else was taken from me. He took everything. Everything to the point where I ain't even want it no more. Then I just start giving up stuff after after, after a while. Like Lord, I'm here, take this if you sure will do it. And just like that, the urge was gone. I promise you. And I will be found of you said Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, said Yahweh, and I will bring you again to the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Because ye have said, Yahweh hath raised us up prophets in Babylon. 
I'm in Babylon, but I'm not of Babylon. You're looking at a whole new spirit man right now. Still fighting. Coming and going, coming and going, trying, raising the body where Christ would inhabit. Christ even told you himself, if anybody coming to you, preaching that Christ is not manifested in the flesh, then they ain't speaking the truth. For this is the promise of adoption. We should become an adopted son of God. Remnant seed, man child, bride of Christ. Revelation 12. We hear now. New covenant. Under grace, not by, not by works. But just by mercy. Man, mercy. Do you know? You? The most evilest of the evil can be made whole again just by having faith and if these words mean something to you that's that's so wrong and wrongful this this boy talking foolishness then you need to prove it I'm at Jeremiah chapter 29 and 15 I just read I go read the whole 20s Read it with this plan. Then go back and look at your precepts. Look at those and study them and see if what I'm telling you is false. It's not. It's not. You are given unto Nebuchadnezzar. And if you are already indulging in the things of Babylon, then you should stay there and pray for Yahweh that he comes and gets you one of these days. And he will. For all you need to have is faith. He's pouring out his Spirit on the whole world. It's already done already. He pouring it right now. So he's going to find you. All you got to do is. Search him. With all your heart. I don't care who you are. What you done done. Trust me. I might not have done it. But I do know. That. Worse than you have been brought. <sighs> know that thus said Yahweh of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David, and of all the people that dwelleth in this city, and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. So there are people that have not gone with them into captivity to Babylon. And that's why I was. I didn't go in captivity. I was brought afterwards but I still wasn't indulging serving the king there's different ones for those are not supposed to go to Babylon then <laughs> let me let you know that where was we at it's, it's right before this in chapter 27 I think but it's right there right before this he was saying if you make it to Babylon and you were still dwelling in the city that was promised don't don't indulge you're going to pray some fire. You're going to face some things. I might come and visit you. And then I might bring some evil up on you in the same year that I visited you. Understand that. I say, Yahweh, behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. And I will persecute them with the sword and with the famine, with the pestilence, and deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth to be a curse. That that's me. That's why it's underlined right here. I got it underlined. And when, when I see stuff like that, and I know it's me there. Because I was I was persecuted <laughs> with the sword. I, I was shot three times randomly. Um with the famine. Um uh, I was I was removed from all the kingdoms of the earth. Um I, I was to be a curse. People looked at me with astonishment <laughs> and hissing <laughs> and a reproach. Yep. Mm -hmm. Among all the nations where I have driven them, 
because ye have not hearkened to my word, said Yahweh, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, said Yahweh. Hear ye therefore the word of Yahweh, all ye of the captivity, whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. So there's some who were sent, taken by Nebuchadnezzar or by the, the, the spirit of darkness. Let's break it down to what it really is. That is the, the, the sins or the things that you do. Okay. For that's Babylon. Okay. So if you are deeply tied in those, then you need to just pray and wait. But if you're not deeply tied in those, don't get deeply tied. Okay. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, of Ahab, the son of Kadosh, and of Zedekah, the son of Mahisa, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall slay them before your eyes. And of them shall be taken up a curse by all captivity of Judah, which are in Babylon, saying, Yahweh make thee like Zedekiah and Ahab, whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire. I mean, those big, those, these big, big name, big viewed um, teachers who teaching y'all falsely, don't cut it out and start teaching y'all rightly, then they gonna be burnt right before your eyes, man. God gonna come, pop, pop, hit them up right there, and they gonna be on the thing, man. If they was really real, for only a real one can do that. That was wrong. But I could do that easy if I was wrong. But this time, you're wrong. But nobody could say they taught me these things. I didn't go to my brother and get them. I didn't go to my friend and get them. I sat at the foot of the father. Because they have committed violently in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbor's wives and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not commanded them. Even I know and am a witness, says Yahweh. Yahweh say, I know because I was a witness. I was there watching it. They shall speak to Shemaiah, the Nelamite, saying, Because thou hast sent letters in thy name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah, the son of Mahisa, the priest, and to all the priests, saying, Yahweh hath not made thee a priest in the stead of Jehodai, the priest, that ye should be officers in the house of Yahweh? That's what they acting like, like they police officers, like they have been given a charge by God. For I know the authority in which I was put here to do this, for I never would have thought I would be here. I had albums on iTunes. That was, that was, that was, that was okay. <laughs> At least I thought I was, okay? But when you see the power of God for yourself, or, or you just see the power of God work its wonders, miracles, signs, and wonders around you, and then when you first get saved, when you first get saved, the Holy Spirit tells you to start documenting it, and, you, and now you can go back to the beginning of where I was brought from, where it ain't no game. There ain't no game. There ain't no game. I ain't getting paid for this. I'm looking like a fool with my pants on the ground a couple times. But it's the truth. So now when the, when, the, when, the, when, the, when glory get raised, people will have a template. People will have a... a, 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 a Boy, I can't wait. I'm a fool. I'm a fool for Christ right now. And to everybody. But Paul even told me back then. He said, hold on to these words, man. The same reason why you feeling like you need to say these things and that you are who you know you are. <laughs> Don't be scared to preach that. Don't be scared to go tell people that. Don't be scared of what they're going to say. 
because it's the same spirit within you that was that's in me right now writing this to you way in the future and you're gonna look at this and you're gonna say man that's me right there and you're gonna be thinking exactly what I'm saying you're thinking and you're going through don't worry man so I ain't worried, man. For every man that is mad and maketh himself a prophet, that thou shouldest, shouldest put him in prison and in the stocks. Now, therefore, why hadst thou not reproved Jeremiah and, and Ananoth, which maketh himself a prophet to you? For therefore, he sent us in Babylon, saying... This captivity is long. Build your houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat of the fruit. And Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. Then came the word of Yahweh to Jeremiah. So you get the prophets leading you. Study the prophet. If you're going to start reading and trying to understand these meats, because you have some who needs milk and then you have some who needs meats. But you can't copy respect. <laughs> Smack! You can't copy. You can't copy. For if you need milk, you need milk. And the Bible says if meats causes your brother to err, then refrain from eating meats around him. What does that mean? That means the things of the flesh which convicts one man. It means two different things. The things of the flesh... Whether it be whatever, because under the law is all things. There is no Ten Commandment law these days. We are under grace. The only way you sin is if you go against Christ within you. You are lowering him by doing things in the flesh where the spirit convicts it okay the spirit convicts it in your heart and you continue to <laughs> that's me right there <laughs> spirit convicts you then you are falling You're falling I had to come to that conclusion this morning and he took me to Ezekiel 20 through 25 then come to the word of Yahweh saying Thus said Yahweh concerning Shemela and Nehilamat, because that Shemela had prophesied unto you, and I sent him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie. Therefore said Yahweh, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah and Nehilamat and his seed, and he shall have not have a man to dwell among this people. Neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, said Yahweh, because he had taught rebellion against Yahweh. Man, I hope this ain't talking about uh, Big Jude to them. I hope they make it this far in what I'm saying. But I, they so heavy in their knowledge and where they think they are right now. A man like me don't look like nothing what they want to learn nothing from. But the Bible say that's what that man look like. Don't look up on his countenance. <laughs> Don't look at how tall he is or nothing like that. Listen to his words and test them. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. The word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying, Thus speaketh Yahweh. We in chapter 30, Jeremiah. About to close it down. For I did a whole introduction, which was about hour long before this video introducing to you some of the things that we're in the meats of right now okay the word came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying thus speaketh Yahweh Elohim of Israel saying write thee all the words that I have spoken unto you in a book <laughs> for lo the days come said Yahweh and I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. 
said Yahweh, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For everybody want to be talking about how Judah is. We know that the African Americans was the chosen people of the Bible. We understand that. But do you not know that he sent us out? We rebelled against him so many times. You know how... Noah went up there and got the Ten Commandments and came down and them boys was worshiping a gold idol. He broke them. Made them boys crush the gold and made them boys eat it. Noah didn't even get to make it. Noah. I mean Moses. Moses didn't even get to make it to see the promised land. Because he had to deal with some ignorance, foolishness. People who seen God bring them out. For that was then in the flesh. But nowadays when you're coming out of Babylon and Egypt, as I have, you are Moses then. There's going to be a time where you're going to be a lot of people, bro. You're going to be taken from glory to glory until you look at this scripture and Christ tells you, if you love me, you would put my words in your mouth. And then when you're in John and you're reading and Christ and you like, what? And you really break it down and he say, Put my words, take my words, and, and, and don't give them to me. Put me at my father. That means, because we, we know Christ is God. We know the Holy Spirit is God. We know that you are Christ. Well, that's when my mind got really blown. And then you start reading. You ever heard those saying, he is I and I am him. Jigga, jigga. And you got all these people. Just look up he is I and I am him. Just look, just Google that. You're going to see a plethora of it. For I had to study and make sure I wasn't in error and tripping. For it has been a lot of people knowing this already. These are the things... Man, I see spirits, bro. I see spirits. That's crazy. There's people. These are some of the mysteries, bro, that, 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 that the high-level uh, masons. And I can just see them holding this stuff. You don't understand how people, why, why people get killed and stuff and, and get assassinated. It's because they're reaching certain levels of consciousness and manifestations that they not even aware that they're Christ for that is how they can be killed that is how things happen and it's the will of the most high for they wasn't brought in through the right door so he called it hopping the fence they are jumping the fence they don't come in through the door through the through the through the gate the narrow the way the walk they don't they don't nobody came in that way so anything can happen <sighs> thus said Yahweh we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child Prevail with the child. Go back, man. Just go look at the videos, man. I don't care about being popular, bro. It is the message and the and the, the story, the knowledge that gets revealed, that poured on from up on high. 
couldn't go to sleep today. It is 2.30 a.m. I was given start of this this morning when I woke up and repented for I knew that I was getting too lackadaisical in my in my walk for I knew who I was and I knew that what I was going but I didn't hold fast I got a little relaxed just in my thoughts a little bit on my lips but that was enough for me to be like whoa the new year came and I see all of this going on around me and I see it just blatantly people were just messing up the same people that used to used to trouble me I used to be troubled about and used to be hurt that they would do certain things like that to me and, and lie I don't know why they would do it now they just messing up screwing up and I'm looking like bruh I know I'm supposed to be joyous in this for I read the first chronicles second chronicles I read um uh first corinthians first corinthians second corinthians I read um Ephesians, I read First Thessalonians, and they all took Peter, Paul, Paul, that boy, man, Paul, that boy. He talks about, you know, suffering for Christ <clears throat> and, 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 and these things and what we would see. And don't be troubled as if some strange thing has come upon you. I'm telling you this now so you will know then what you're going through. I, I've seen all of that. So I was trying to be, you know, and then he hit me. With this. For I wasn't even walking in the will of God the whole time. <laughs> Before I found out. You know, I was never going to go over to, to the evil side. I was never going to do nothing evil. Because I knew from a youngin that I had a calling on my life. I knew that. So I was waiting for him to come call me. And he called me. And by his hand, I was brought to you <laughs> alas wait thus to, is there a man around you that travaileth with child <laughs> wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins as a woman in travail everywhere <laughs> all the faces are turned into pillars alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, said Yahweh the house, I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve Yahweh their Elohim and David their king whom I will raise up unto them I haven't been to um, uh, my mother's church in a long time for the day that I went back just to get the word of God and speak to the pastor there he said David is that you And that was a week after I was convicted to speak as Christ. But behold, you won't be risen up immediately. So you're going to be coming and going. Coming and going. <laughs> that seal is made though, man. A seal can't be rejected. Once you got that seal on you, that seal of the 144, that is who I am here for. You, Remnant Seed. You're the only one 
who probably going to get this. You're the only one who this is for. Everyone else, get it when you can. It's about to stop soon. Let me move. Therefore, fear not, my servant Jacob, which said Yahweh, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar thy seed from the land of their captives. Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, said Yahweh, to save thee. Though I make thee fool end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet I will not make a full end of thee. I will correct thee in measure. I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. For thus said Yahweh, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up and hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee, they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquities, because thy sin were increased. <laughs> Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable. For the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto you. Why are you crying for it? Why are you crying for it? Therefore, they all that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee I will give for a prey. I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said Yahweh, because they have called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Well, behold, Zion. You are looking at David. And I'm, in, I'm up here charged. I woke up in repentance this morning knowing I had to face the wrath for my shortcomings of the righteousness that I've seen happen right before my eyes and I was brought from there to here in a flick of the wrist I didn't go look for this I didn't I prayed for an answer and I opened the book twice. And it brought me to two places. One for me and my wrath that I got encounter of him because of my shortcoming. <laughs> and one for the faults that you have that I once held that I got to get charged to tell you. And that is be at peace.